So, um, Anton Daniels did a review on the EYL interview when he said one of the brothers from EYL said uh, um, buying property was the worst investment he's ever done. He's ever had. And I watched the interview. I watched Anton's response. And I watched uh, EYL's response via uh, 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 EYL and, and Anton. Basically, I watched both their response. I'm sorry. I got a lot of moving parts over here. <laughs> and uh, I'll say this. Property has been the greatest investment I've ever had. Uh, it's slow and grow. You live off of the equity and the positive cash flow. Um, the margins aren't like astronomically great, but it puts you in position where you'll never have to work again in your life, right? And you accumulate, you accumulate, you accumulate, you accumulate. And yes, you do take out loans to buy the bank. You guys know during COVID, I was my own bank, myself and my business partners. We did an excellent job. I have financed properties, tons of properties, literally tons, <laughs> you know, and uh, uh, so there is a cost to that, whatever your percentage is. And if you don't put it on a 15, most, if not all my properties on 15, um, but they talk about buying when you're primary residence. It depends on your perspective. See, see I have a perspective where that's your like your main job. You can see your house as your main job, as you accrue equity, right? And you're paying whatever mortgage you're paying, but you're accruing equity annually, monthly, daily, right? And with that being said, when it's your primary residence, you can pull up to 80% of the worth of the property. You know, whereas if it's a rental property, 60s and 70%. And while I agree with Anton on um, 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 about EYL, they didn't do their due diligence. He didn't do his homework. Uh, he should be criticized and held to the standard of not doing his research before he bought the barren land to build a house on it, right? Um, these are just atypical things. And all you got to do is call the city manager's office. That's all you got to do. Call the city manager's office and they'll tell you all the specs of that property. But I, I guess he didn't do it. He got excited. He probably saw that it was connected to a, or adjacent, connected or adjacent to some water, it seems like. And now he has to pay what it costs to live next to some water, right? You got to filtrate water so you don't get flooded on your property, right? And that's fairly common. You know, you see that like in Colorado and you see that uh, uh, in, in, in a lot of properties that's by the water, right? And Anton doesn't believe that you should buy a home. Like I, 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 I heard him say that he, he buys his properties to lease, but he rents his primary residence. It's totally perspective, totally perspective because when you had your primary residence, I'm, as Anton said, I'm not going to give you too much gain, but you can have multiple businesses in your primary residence. It don't have to be one business. It can be. Um, you got livestock. You got you can bury people on your property. There's so many different ways you can do legally, legally, not illegal. I don't do illegal stuff. Things you can do legally to uh, so you won't have to pay taxes and you'll get it back long term so it's a uh it, it's a language game it's how well do you know the properties how well do you know it's plain and simple how well do you know and uh uh being that i understand it i respect Ant anton's uh his ingenuity his creativity he's in a great market to be wealthy i'll say that you know uh Coincidentally, <laughs> truth be told, I own a condo next door to I, I saw his his view. I own a condo next the very next building over, you know, 
we could see we could see Windsor, we could see the people mover, we can I've never been there, as I told you guys. I've never been there, I've never stayed a day there. It was a primary invested when I realized that four or five, all their professional teams were going to downtown uh Detroit. My business partner who was from Detroit advised me. I shouldn't say advise me because we're partners, but you know, he's from there and he said, Hey, we should buy these condos. You know, and at the time they were fifty nine and sixty nine thousand dollars. Right? On up. So I made a wise investment and now it's worth easily six figures. It, not easily, it is. You know, we got two in one building, which is literally right next door to Anton. So how funny is that, right? So long story short, I understand where he's coming from. And Anton does an eloquent job at explaining to you on his Patreon. I'm not a subscriber of his Patreon. How you doing, sir? And uh, so I'm not the expert on his Patreon. I'm not subscribed to it. But there are so many different avenues you can do. You can use. Yes, I pay interest along with my uh, along with my payment. And, um, you know, I see when you wealthy, you pay first and you get it back. Right. Poor people don't understand that. But that's just the reality. It's like an investment. You pay it forward. Like you pay a hundred thousand dollars because you know you're going to make a million dollars off it over twenty years. Same thing. So it's it's totally perspective. But he's right. He doesn't like paying the interest. Is it a perfect number where you get negative and you get positive? No, no. But I'll forever have equity, and I'll forever have cash I can get at, at in less than thirty days when I need it. And it's a, uh, and when you have a home, you can, like, you can do your, your home can, I don't want to say it parallels it, but similar to your retirement, if you guys have jobs, you can borrow against it, right? You can leverage your retirement, you can leverage your primary residence to build wealth. So it's totally perspective. And um, again, I'll say he's right on the interest, he doesn't want to pay interest pluses and minuses you know tomato tomato when you're wealthy you know what i mean tomato <laughs> like republicans don't it, it, it's it's more of an ego i remember villa lobos what, what what was his first name he donated a lot of money to woodier college so you guys google him and you guys many of you guys know i went to that woodier college so i had him i i went to an event with him he was a republican right he's got into some legal troubles and did some illegal things and you guys can google him he's since passed right and uh, at the time, I was a Democrat. And uh, I was not nearly as wealthy as he was, but I was basically not living from paycheck to paycheck anymore, right? And um, I was talking to him, and I was like, so what do you think about Obama? He says, I don't give a damn who's in office. It's just for ego. You know what I mean? I know tax laws. <laughs> I know how to get by and get by. What's his name? Because I want you guys to Google him and see. Villa. Just Google Villa. Villa Bos, Villa Lobos, Villa Lobos, Whittier College. That's what I'm talking about. And he sat me, he sat me, I say he sat me down, but we sat and we spoke. And uh, he was a serial entrepreneur. Uh, he, he did some illegal things and he got caught for it. But uh, I stay on the up and up. I ain't, I don't stretch. I don't overextend myself. I, 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 I obey laws. I don't even put myself in position where it's questionable. Nah, I, I don't do that either. But but I I av I advocate for you owning your primary res residence because it's generational, right? And and from a human perspective, from a family perspective, it can be the hub of your family. It can be the hub. Like so, for a hundred years, we go to Big Daddy's house, it was Big Daddy Papa's house, uh, Grandma's house, Medea's house. You know, what I mean. So th that's my perspective, and uh, that's it. So y'all have a great day. Uh, and profit margins are different from investment to investment. There's no cookie cutter investment. You know what I mean? When people say they can give you 30% on return, don't believe it. 40% return. If they can get 40% return on investments, they don't need your money. You get it? <laughs> if I can get a 40% return or 100% return on my investment, I will never, ever need your money. And, and if that's the case, no one will be poor in America. Because that's just it. So that's not reality. Y'all go ahead and have a great day. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.